Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of Terry's moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And we got the motherfucking Gemini Weekly Astrological Reading, motherfucker. Gemini Sun Sign. Now, Gemini. You either too quiet or you're talking too motherfucking much. Pick one. You either too quiet or you're talking too motherfucking much. Pick one. People watching you. People looking at every move you make. People looking at every detail. People criticizing every kind of conversation you have. Every fucking word you say. People paying attention. People looking at that shit. People understanding it. Analyzing it. Dictating it. Pick. D woo! You being watched right now. Square. Anytime there's a motherfucking square, we know that's a motherfucking learning process. Your actions, the way you act. People gonna learn from it. You gonna learn from it. You gonna learn that. You gonna learn that the way you relate and is it, it, is drawn out. You know what I'm saying? You gonna learn that uh, uh, it's time for a switch, and you may not be on board the way you're supposed to be on board. You got a lot of ideas. You got a lot of creativity. You got a lot of understanding. You got a lot of analytical skills. But the details you put it in and wasting your energy on ain't what it's supposed to be. It ain't what it's supposed to be. And what's going on? This what's happening. Instead of what you talking about, people want to see what you talk about. People want people want to know what do you really know. You can't just say something now. Let's elaborate on it. You can't just be sarcastic. What you meant by that? You can't just say that. We ain't see that. That's what's going on right now. People ain't with the fuck shit. People ain't with the mind games. And right now people people was paying attention. People was seeing what the fuck is going on. People was looking at you. People was watching you. And you just want to be left alone. You just want to see what's going on. You just want to be yourself. You just want to ride. You just want to go up down this motherfucking street. You tired of going up this street? You just want to go up that street. You just don't understand why everybody want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? People are being particular, you know what I'm saying? So, right now, as far as your actions and the way you act, yeah, people understand it. People know you're going to talk. People know you're going to be quiet. People know you're going to do what you got to do. People know you're going to say what you're going to say. People know that you just, want, you just at the end of the day, want to do things the way you want to do it. And you don't want nobody else analyzing or dictating the way you do things. Because you're, you're air and you're light and you, and you don't have time. You breezy through and you don't have time to sink all your air into one heaviness or uh, someone else's emotional weight that they're trying to throw around. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But right now, see, people ain't doing that either. People not, people ain't attaching emotions to things either, though, as far as people's actions. You think they is, but they ain't. People are just being practical right now. And when people start to talk about other people's practicality and what a person should do and shouldn't do, you may take that as a person is starting to get emotional or volatile. But see, the sign is in Virgo. There's not too much feeling. It's thinking right there. Y'all both thinking. You know where y'all clash? One is logical. One is practical. And your logical ability right now ain't motherfucking practical. And it's gonna be communicated. It's gonna be communicated. If you've been going to the wrong website getting the wrong information, this gonna tell you right now. This camera about to die. Let me have you plug, plug this up to the charger. Mm -hmm. I look at the battery now. You know what I'm saying? Short, short, short intermission. Mm -hmm. all, I do, all I gotta do is plug it up. But yeah, you know, I'm telling you now. That's just, and this is just your actions right now. So Donald Trump or Gemini. So he'll tell you. He'll tell you. His actions is being watched right now. I bet Donald Trump been a lot calmer right now, haven't he? He ain't been saying a lot of reckless shit he been saying right now. The heat getting hot. Heat getting heavy right now, ain't it? <laughs> heat getting heavy right now. 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 Heat get
he getting heavy right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For one second. Um. <laughs> Put the charger on there. Yeah, he getting hot now. I had to calm that ass down. Start, start, under, start seeing the little details of why people was looking at him like a fuck, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, let's go into the motherfucking moon. The moon is your motherfucking opposite. The moon is Sagittarius. So off the off the bat, the way people feel, how people react to you. It's total opposite how you think they was going to react. Total opposite to how you think they was going to feel. See, the issue here is, what you think is genuinely right right now, and what's genuinely the right thing to do, is going to be completely opposite to how people feel. Because it's your opposite. Now, you can either apply it in a sociable manner, which you like to do anyway. This is why Sagittarius and Gemini's is one of the best oppositions. That get along. You know what I'm saying? They one of the best oppositions. Libras and Aries is the worst. No, I'm not gonna say they're the worst. Maybe Taurus and Scorpio. That's another video. But as far as Gemini Sun sign, the moon is in Sagittarius. The way people feel. The way people are uh, going to feel about how your, your actions and the way you act right now, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be total opposite. So you're going to think you're supposed to do one thing, or you may chill with people, or you may go around people, like wrong time, wrong place type, type situations. That's how this play out. Now, Mercury is in Virgo also. So you're going to understand the way people communicate, and you're going to understand the way people think it. But, like I said, the only problem you're going to run into is practicality and, lo and, and, lo and logical type shit. It's going to be a time where you're going to need to stop talking about how to do something and actually do it and get practical about it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only problem you're going to run into. But you're going to understand what you should be doing. Now, when we get into um, Venus, Venus and Libra. So you understand how people appreciate right now, how people value in other people. You understand how to relate right now. Just in your own way, your own mutable way. Your actions, the way you act, may do it amongst many people. Venus is just doing it on a one on one level. So, only problem you're going to run into is you, you might not want to sit on the phone with just one person all day, talk on the phone all day, text one person all day. You might want to spread your energy and see something and do something today, interact with many people. Only problem this air gonna run into. But as far as it just being air communicating, you got no problem with sending that person a text. You got no problem with just giving a little, a little bit of that person a little bit of your time. So Venus and, and, and your son, you get it. Y'all get it. Y'all, y'all, y'all understand each other. Y'all on the same page. Y'all just do, do it in different ways. You know what I'm saying? So people understand you. So, even if you are a fickle and a person who want to talk to you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, if they can't, they're going to understand why they can't. And they, they're not going to hold that against you because they're going to know you for and respect you for who you are because the sun relates to Venus right now. Now, when we get into uh, Mars, Mars is in Sagittarius. Mars is in your opposite too. So, people's intentions and how people do things and what they intend to do and what's the behind agenda behind their actions you don't understand that also is the opposition you kinda confused you call up a person and want to do this with this person right now but when you start to do it with them you start to feel like this wasn't a person I wanted to do that with so you gotta watch that even ladies lady Gemini's you gotta have a habit of putting your foot in your mouth right now Agreeing to things you don't really want to do. Then when it's time to do it, only thing you could do is not pick up the phone. Only thing you could do is say you ain't at home right now. You gotta watch that shit too, cause you don't want to put yourself in a situation where, when it's when when the time come that you want to do it, that person ain't gonna be there. Whether it's a male or a female, whatever kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? So. Learn how to balance your communication. Learn how to balance your communication. 
Because even though you're going to see people's intentions is fluky, it's always a double standard. It's always going to flip on you too. Wherever the planet or wherever alignment is at, just because you're going to experience, don't mean you exit from the energy. You're going to be the person that other people see doing these things also. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got Jupiter and Virgo. 